Detroit Urban Survival Dueling. I'm YT Dan, here to teach you how to defeat Max C. When your opponent plays Max C and you have no response, you have no choice but to fall into the Max C challenge. Now, if you have to do the Max C challenge, there's only two options. Option number one, when they come at you with Max C, the first thing you're gonna do, smack down. Option number two, keep playing through. So my boy, let's get in there. So first off, I'm playing my Gladiator Beast deck. Y'all know the build. If you don't know the build, check me out in some of the older videos and streams that are linked on here, my boy, or the, at the end of this video. However, we're gonna start this match off pretty early. We have Effect Veiler getting that negate going and what's pretty interesting about this deck, this guy has pretty much everything and we even go through Max C. So you're gonna really see some good gameplay here. All right, so I set the Forbidden Droplet. We're gonna use Forbidden Droplet to make sure that I don't get my cheeks blown out. But uh, basically, he's playing a Numer, I think it's called a Numerons uh, Exceeds deck or something like that. We're probably with like the eat of billions in there or millions or whatever he be eating up in there. But uh, pretty much he's trying to use this monster to summon out like I think it's like a uh, like a rank zero or something like that. I forget what is what the actual rank is a rank one monster. And then it has like 9000 attack or crazy amounts of attack based on banished cards. So it's pretty ridiculous. But I was able to stop him because I had droplet went ahead and dumped the card shut him down for a turn excellent and um you know now we're just gonna move on with our tri brigade combos now tri brigade of course works really good he has no back row so that's really good for me and i believe when i made this move he didn't have any response so basically i'm gonna be going into the glad beast combo oh yeah not he didn't have any response duh he played the whole point in the video he played max c duh so look the man plays Maxi, and this is the point right here. I look in my hand, I see I have four cards. I know the field I'm about to build, which is gonna probably end with Domiti Anus, Herc, and the Omni Negate. I'm gonna get all that off of just one attack, and he's got two cards in his hand. It's gonna Maxi, and he's gonna end up with three plus this monster. I'm taking a challenge, my boy. I just decided to take the challenge just based off of that. I figured. I'll get enough negates and I'll have a, enough of an awkward board that he won't be able to deal with that he'll be able to either not be able to kill me or not be able to play whatever it is he's trying to do. So here's my combo and we're going to go ahead, Domitianus. Now we're going to go ahead and link up Tamer Editor and bring out Test Panther. Test Panther is going to add my Detroit Urban Survival Training Technique. Technique number three, Gladiator Beast Charge. Because now I've realized when I'm dueling out here in these urban survival streets, your boy needs to make sure he has a secret weapon, a secret weapon. And it's come with Gladiator Beast Charge. Cause not only can Gladiator Beast Charge destroy more monsters, did any other card I could possibly play, get a two for one, get a three for one. But also, Gladiator Beast Charge can be searched from the deck and brought back from the grave after use. All right, so Gladiator Beast Charge, I really feel like that's the card that made the difference here. So we're gonna continue the combo, bird up time, and then we're gonna set the charge and then we're gonna end turn. Now look at this maxi hand. Look at this maxi hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 on his draw. 12 cards clapped. 12 cards clapped. All right, so he dumps. We got the big boy, he tries to ash, but I'm gonna Domiti Anos the ash. And then basically we're gonna get our move. Negate, negate, summon. Okay, so now we end the field. Well, I was gonna say we end the field with uh, Omni Negate, Herc, Domitianus. So that was gonna be three, four, five negates, right? But then he goes ahead and breaks my heart, tributes my Omni Negate for a funky Kaiju. 
But what's funny about this is he probably doesn't have any gamma seals because he broke it. Fuck. So he got to use the insects, but we ain't going to talk about that. So now he does this combo where he's going to use this card to put him face down. But he's going to use this card to try to uh, put the kaiju back into his hand. And by doing that, I'm guessing he could kaiju up some more shit and go crazy. But I'm not about to let him get cute with me. So we're going to shut this down before my uh, Domitianos takes a little nap. So we're going to shut this down. Domitianos will be taking a little nap. Uh, good night. And then he summons. Then he summons his danger bird to blow up my urban survival training. But nothing can stop skills built in Detroit. Here we go, my boy. It's my Gladiator Beast charge. I'm going bang, bang with your front row. Let's me take out two monsters because I have two Gladiator Beasts face up on the field. So because I have a Kaiju, he can summon a Kaiju. So whatever, it's not all that great. And now he can do his new number move and also he's free to attack because the Mitianus is face down. It's a rank one, by the way. And this card is gonna get boosted to like 9,000, it's stupid. So at 9,000 of those things, he runs over Herc for 5,900 damage, I'm still alive. So he can't kill me. He draws some cards. Herc wasn't really hurting him too much. The Minty Anus actually was hurting him and the Omni Negate was hurting him the most. But after he went through all of that and went through battle and battle has ended, I have survived the Maxi Challenge. Now all I gotta do is follow up and kill him. And you know I can because look at this field. We have Domitianus face up. We have Gladiator Beast Tamer Editor. We've got Tri Brigade Beast on the field and we're gonna be getting this man up out of here pretty soon. But we've got everything ready to clap this man's cheeks. So the first things we're gonna do is summon Gazarus. We're gonna target these two monsters to destroy it. And when this card is destroyed, it can destroy all cards on the field. Now he uses Effect Veiler here, but not on what you think. He targets this and not this. Now, I think he did that because he was in a lot of pressure because he was running up on a time limit loss. So basically, Effect Veiler puts it down. My monster's gonna get destroyed. And then Domiti Anus's effect to negate that. Now, what's funny about this is if he didn't do that um, and that card got destroyed and he Effect Veiler this, it would have destroyed all the cards on the field. I still got tons of plays because I still have my extra deck intact, and I also have second copies of Domiti Anus and Tamer Editor, and I put Batman back in the deck, my boy. So you know we were gonna be getting back over there with our second copy of Dragon Ass. We were gonna be getting over there, my boy. But unfortunately, after this mighty chain and his beast is negated, that's not even a possibility. So in the Test Panther, and he's like, I, he's like, no, no more, <laughs> no more. So yeah, my boy, that's that's it, my boy. Clapping some anime cheeks, uh, winning the Max C challenge. Um, uh, can I get a couple of these? Before you go, take a look at the deck list. Observe. You can see that I've made some changes, like three lightning storms, three dark ruler no mores, and three forbidden droplet. And I'm running two called by the graves, and instead of three twin twisters, just one because now I have three lightning storms, so I don't really worry too much. And then now I'm running a Gladiator's Charge because this also destroys face up cards as well. And it will help me out against those virtual world duels when they set up that back row that causes me a lot of problems. Um, also, what's interesting is I added Gladiator Beast Mermillo because while I'm doing my combo, I do notice sometimes I do just summon a monster and it's just a quick summon to put a body on the board. And that could have been a quick summon to put a body on the board and take an opponent's card away. Um, only thing I don't like about it is that it's a fish and it kind of doesn't synergize with the whole deck. But, you know, it just is a really good effect and it's been effective. You know, these two cards have really come in really handy in addition to stuff like Lightning Storm. So it's been really good. Also, we're using um, two Gazaris and then we're also following that up uh, with adding in Batman and prop and the reason why we're doing that is because we're using a to dump those cards to the grave 
if we don't have the proper resources in the deck and i had to go back to two augustus because one augustus is just not enough and honestly i lost more games because i only had one augustus um it's really sad honestly it's like you know losing games because you don't have a second augustus really hurts because it's like the second augustus is the difference between a board that is herc domitianus and apex avian but without a second augustus sometimes their board will just be herc and apex avian or domitianus and apex avian or domitianus and tamer editor or you know herc and tamer editor that's a significantly weaker board than all three together. Once you get all three on the board, it's really hard for your opponent to stop that if you can get all three out. And I've been successful being able to do that since I got three lightning storms, <laughs> honestly. Since the, the lightning storms and called by the grace really, I'm not called by the grace, lightning storm and uh, Gary's charge has really helped a lot. Called by the grave, I haven't even used it once, but y'all know how it is. But yeah, my boy, I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Probably not gonna be able to stream today. I actually gotta get in there and do some uh, <laughs> job. But then uh, I'll probably come back either later on tonight or tomorrow, but I'll catch y'all on the next one. And as always, keep it a dang.